Full Sail University. Today's video, talking about why you shouldn't go to Full Sail University. What is going on guys? My name is Henry and welcome back to another video. Um, things have been going really well. You guys are loving the Full Sail videos. Um, and also we hit 100 subscribers so I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for supporting my channel. Um, also, make sure you subscribe for more full sale videos like this. It's like 12 o'clock and I gotta be in class in like an hour, so I'm really trying to get this video out to you guys. My week has been crazy, uh, super busy working on projects and things like that. So, anyways, I wanted to talk about why you shouldn't go to full sale, and I got, I think, four main reasons that I have here on my phone. You may be wondering, Henry, why are you talking about, about Full Sail when you go to Full Sail? Um, well, it's not necessarily me talking bad. Why you shouldn't go to Full Sail if you're this type of person? Reason number one. I think I have four of them. So reason number one. The reason why you shouldn't go to Full Sail is because you want the traditional college lifestyle. You want to be in the dorm rooms and you want to be, you know, just like on a... It's, it's really different here at Full Sail. You want to be partying in the weekends and getting drunk and wasted and all that stuff. Well, at Full Sail, you can't really do any of that because you're going to be really busy. Just this week alone, I've been super busy working on a project with my group for class and I'm only on month three. Like, this is crazy and it's like you're constantly busy in just you're not gonna get the traditional college lifestyle. You're gonna be hands-on. It's gonna be a lot of going to like extracurricular things at school, so that's one thing. Reason number two, why you shouldn't go to Full Sail. Um, before I came to Full Sail, I actually watched a ton of videos on people talking about Full Sail and why Full Sail was bad. And the people that I watched the videos on, I actually thought that they shouldn't go to Full Sail because they're the kind of people that thought you would get a job handed to you after you graduate. And that's the complete opposite of whatever Full Sail may be. Full Sail is like, the way you think about Full Sail is an investment. And you're investing in the opportunity to network with everyone here and network with all the professionals that work there and all the graduates and Hall of Famers. And that's the reason why you're at Full Sail. You're not at Full Sail to get a job handed to you. You're at Full Sail to learn and to network because you don't know who's sitting next to you or standing next to you may be beneficial to you. And that's one major key. Fun fact, Hall of Fame is happening this week. And since I started in the month of May on campus, I get two Hall of Fame weeks. So that means I will be here to see two opportunities to two opportunities to network with a bunch of the industry professionals. So make sure anybody that has the opportunity to see Hall of Fame week or even when you're on the behind the scenes tour with all the professionals to network with them, talk to them. They once were in a position like you and I are. They were once a student at Full Sail University trying to strive for their goals. So please, please network with people if you come to Full Sail. And if you don't like networking, you should not come to Full Sail. Reason number three, why you should not go to Full Sail. I got, I got a little lazy, so I was like, let me come sit down. Um, but, like I said before, networking. If you're not willing to network, Full Sail is not the spot for you. You might as well be better off just trying to learn to get over not networking, I guess. But anyway, Full Sail is a networking hub. The reason why you pay to come to Full Sail is to network. Full Sail, the reason why Full Sail is probably I would say anywhere near worth it is because they put you in a place with like-minded people and you've never been in a place with like-minded people before because if you're all over the country and you're all over the world, you're not going to meet each other. But here at Full Sail, everyone's here for a common goal. So network. Please, please, please network. If you can't network, you should not go to Full Sail. And last, but certainly not, not, blah, blah, hold on. And last, but certainly not least, if you can't afford Full Sail flat out, then it might not be the best option for you. Full Sail is really expensive and with that cost comes a lot of student loans or dropping a lot of money. So if you personally think you can't afford Full Sail, then I wouldn't recommend coming. Think long and hard about it because although it is an amazing experience and they give you a lot of resources, you want to know that after you leave here, you'll at least be able to afford to pay back your loans or 
be able to survive on your own. So if you can't afford full sail, maybe you might want to think about it again before you come to full sail, I guess. For anybody that can't afford it, there's a lot of different options that you can do to make full sail more affordable. But for the people that can't, maybe full sail is not the best option. You could possibly look into a local film school or maybe any summer programs or things like that. Those might be great options to check out as well. A little disclaimer, Full Sail is a for-profit school and a lot of people see that as a bad thing. Um, and like everyone that goes to Full Sail knows that Full Sail is a for-profit school. But I guess the way that we see it as students is they're definitely making a profit on the students. But I would say that a lot of the profit that they're making does go into hosting a lot of the events that they put on and also getting equipment for all of us to be able to use. For example, they have an Ari Alexa camera that we use in on the sets to film our own personal projects that we may do at the school or our school assignment projects that we're filming on the sets and everything like that. So that's really cool. And they always keep up with the industry technology and things like that. So. I mean, it can go both ways, but really for it being a for-profit school, this has got to be one of the best for-profit schools out there just because they give you a lot of resources and that's the main thing you need to use. So all in all, this is the video of why you shouldn't go to Full Sail. So if you enjoyed guys, please leave a like down below for me, it really helps me out a lot. Also don't forget to subscribe because I'm coming out with more Full Sail videos. We've got a lot coming. I've also been getting tons of feedback from you guys on in my Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate you guys. Stay tuned for more Full Sail videos. It's almost 1 o'clock. I got to get to class. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you stay classy. Peace out.